Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Somos Biology. Another very quick revision video, another mnemonic video, trick video to put in your brain about the carbohydrate digestion. How exactly the carbohydrate is digested in human body. Although there are bigger chapters on that, but there are information that you need to remember the name of the enzymes involved in the type of digestion of carbohydrates in our body. And CSI and NET and also many other PhD entrance examination can ask questions from this so much information to put and process in your brain. We can do that very, very fast within five minutes to seven minutes. So this is what we are going to talk about, uh, carbohydrate digestion, okay? So how exactly the carbohydrate is digested in our body? Basically to digest carbohydrates, we need carbohydrate digesting enzymes, right? And the carbohydrate that we eat predominantly consists of starch, and glycogen is also present in the body so and also in the food we may have uh, polysaccharides we have disaccharides right uh, monosaccharides are easy uh, form uh, and that is the form that we need to get into but if we if we are eating uh, polysaccharide like starch or, or we can eat disaccharides there are some sugars disaccharides, like sucrose the disaccharide so those things need to be cleared into and converted into simpler sugar and monosaccharides for the body to absorb. So we'll start with the, uh, the carbohydrate digestion. There are different positions in the, in the body where the, the, the digestion takes place. So what we have, we have uh, this particular one single sentence uh, to, to, to remember everything and that is Sam Pam Masula. Okay. Although many of you may think like this doesn't make any sense. But it is going to make sense because either you can remember this as a mantra like Sam, Pam, Masula, Sam, Pam, Masula, Sam, Pam, Masula, like this. So it's kind of a, you know, a humming, uh, if, like people are humming this particular as a chant. That, that's one way to remember it. Another way to remember is that Masula is a type of boat that is available there. It's basically used in Kerala. It's uh, Masula boat. If you, you can Google it, if you can type, it is a boat. It's a traditional boat out there. So Sam and Pam, there are two people. Right, Sam is the name of one person, Pam is the name of another person. Both of them are now floating in the Carolian, uh, one Carolian uh, water in this Masula boat. So now it makes sense, right? If you don't know, then no sense. If you know, that makes sense. Sam and Pam are now floating in the backwaters with the Masula boat. If you remember that, it's going to stay in your head. You can pictureize that two person are floating in a boat. Right, so that is something that you can remember. Masula boat, okay. So Sam Pam Masula, if you remember that, you remember, you can remember name of the enzymes that are involved and not only the name of the enzymes, but the location of carbohydrate digestion in our body. And uh, we start with this. So SA is the salivary amylase. Actually, SAM is a salivary amylase, okay. It's a salivary amylase. Then Pam, then, then we have a Pam here out there, right? Uh, that is, uh, the Pam is here, pancreatic amylase, pancreatic amylase, okay? So you have salivary amylase, we have pancreatic amylase, and these are the two <clears throat> important part because, you know, where uh, we are involved in the process of digestion of carbohydrate. Salivary amylase means it's working in the mouth, in our mouth, in the saliva of ours, we have the salivary amylase enzyme. This amylase enzyme's job is to basically uh, break down uh, polysaccharide like starch. So simple starch is converted to uh, disaccharides, okay. Disaccharide means, for example, maltose is something that they can produce to dextrin, they can produce to, so they, they can produce maltose and all, okay. So starch, which is a polysaccharide, is converted to a disaccharide like maltose in the mouth. So the carbohydrate digestion begins instantly in the mouth and then comes after mouth where it goes, stomach. In the stomach, uh, they don't have any, they don't have any sort of digestion, noticeable carbohydrate digestion in the stomach. So that's why we have blank in the stomach. So we can write it here in stomach. This salivary amylase is not going to work because the pH here is 2 uh, or near 2. So pH is 2, very, very acidic, very acidic. And this acidity 
actually inhibit the salivary amylase to work. Salivary amylase cannot function in here due to the very much acidic nature of the stomach. So salivary amylase is worthless in the stomach at very low pH. Okay, so no digestion here in the stomach. Then comes PAM, pancreatic amylase. Pancreatic amylase, the pancreatic contents are generally released where? In the intestine, right? Here we can say brush border. Brush border is the region. Brush border cells are the cells where pancreatic amylase is released. And this is where the carbohydrate digestion take place. What kind of digestion? Uh, we can also see that the digestion here will be again starch converted to maltose. Uh, uh, so starch, let me write starch converted to maltose. And also uh, we have uh, the different, for example, in this case, we also have our along with the starch. Starch is the plant uh, carbohydrate that we have. We have glycogen as well. Glycogen has a polysaccharide as well in the body. That's also converted to maltose or any other uh, sugars, any other disaccharides, we have sucrose uh, present here, right? All these things are there. That is present in the intestine. So finally, when all the polysaccharides are converted to disaccharides, now in the small intestine, the final digestion of carbohydrate will take place. For that, we have this masula boat. Now, why we write as a masula here? Because I'll, I'm going to tell you, uh, then we have ma ma then su, s, u, then ele, la. Okay, so ma, I'll write it as maltose, su, I'll write it as sucrose, and ele, I'll write it as lactose. Right? So easy. Masula, masula, maltose, sucrose, lactose. So these are all, uh, these are uh, disaccharides, right? So they have two single sugar units attached to them and these disaccharides are already present in our intestine because primary level of digestion of uh, carbohydrate is done and that is conversion of starch and uh, glycogen into the maltose dextrin and other structures like sucrose, maltose, uh, they are produced. And also if you uh, like have milk or milk products, you have lactose present. So all these sugars now will be digested where they'll, they'll be digested in the small intestine. So in the small intestine, we have uh, the digestion purpose. So the digestion that, that is involved, the enzyme name is very easy to remember, maltase, sucrase and lactase. So name maltose, the enzyme will be maltase. Name sucrose, enzyme will be sucrase. And if the substrate is lactose, the name of the enzyme will be lactase. So they are going to break it down. And when we say break it down, so just remove this part, okay. And they are going to break it. So maltose, sucrose and lactose. Maltose is broken down into glucose plus glucose. Sucrose is bro broken down to glucose plus fructose. And lactose is broken down uh, to glucose plus galactose. Okay, so these are all uh, monosaccharides. Glucose, fructose, galactose are all uh, monosaccharides. The monosaccharides are produced from all the disaccharides. The enzymes involved is maltase, all the tases, maltase, sucrase and lactase. And that is also done where? In the small intestine. Small intestine, right? Now I believe you have a clear idea regarding the digestion of carbohydrate in our body by single from the single very small sentence sam pam masula or you can form a sentence sam and pam floating in uh, the backwaters with the masula but i keep it simple sam pam masula i think i can remember this sam pam masula kind of, uh, kind of easily so i put it like this and you get all the informations uh, sam salivary amylase the digestion begins in mouth but there is no digestion in the stomach due to high acidity which renders the uh, salivary amylase inactive then we have pam pancreatic amylase in the uh, brush border uh, what it does break down the polysaccharides into disaccharides then we have the small intestine where the disaccharides are broken down into monosaccharides small toes is broken down to uh, glucose glucose sucrose into glucose fructose and lactose into glucose galactose with the help of maltase sucrase and lactase enzymes respectively and we can remember that with masula right so that's all that's all i won't say that's all maybe there are some other context to it like uh, the digestion of other small fragments but majority of the things of carbohydrate digestion is covered
with this very simple trick, very simple mnemonic. That's why it's going to save a lot of your time to recall while revising. All the very best. I believe you got a clear idea uh, about all the topics that we discussed. And one more thing that is very important is that uh, these mnemonics are going to give you so much information in very little time. So five to seven minutes of lecture will clear a lot of information in your brain. You can put all this information in your brain before the exam and you can ace the exam. And if you really like this video lectures, then please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and colleagues. There's a series of this mnemonics lecture, a playlist is made for that and the link of the playlist is given in the description. Click that and watch all the videos of the playlist. And if you wish to be mentored by me for your CSI and examination or want to get our study material, then the details are there here in the video. You can contact us by this given number or directly can download our application or our check our website that is www.shownsbiology.com. Thank you. Bye.